surfacing. Gandelli said, tell me more. The last place I lived was with a family named Trice on a ranch down near Dump called Sister. The old man's watch came up missing and I figured soon as I heard what was up that they'd pin the blame on me, so I lit out before he could help me. I was 14 and I made up my mind as long as I stayed on the move they couldn't stick me in any more schools where all the kids with Ma's and Pa's looked at me like I was a four-day-old pork shop left in somebody's pocket. I caught a freight and headed for Arizona and I've been on the road ever since, except for prison and here, 14, but that's a young, not when you start out like I did. She studied his profile, the dark eyes riveted on the ceiling, the crisp, straight nose, the unsmiling lips. Softly, she asked, were you lonely? His Adam's apple slid up, then down. For a moment he didn't answer, but when he did, he turned to face her, yeah, were you? Nobody had ever asked her before. Had he been anyone from town, she could not have admitted it, but it felt remarkably good to answer. Yeah, their gazes held as both recognized a first fallen barrier. But you had a family. A family, but no friends. I'll bet you had friends. Friends? No. Then, after thoughtful consideration, well, one maybe. Who? He tipped an eyebrow her way. You sure you wanna hear this? I'm sure. Who? He never talked about Josh, not to anyone. And the story would lead to a conclusion that might make Eleanor Parker rethink her decision to invite him into her bed. But 